Hello guys and gals. Down here at the range today having a little bit of fun with this gun adapter. This is made by Short Lane and is available at gunadapters.com. What this does, it allows me to shoot 9mm in my 12 gauge. This is my Bical MP18. Just to show you here, this just drops right into the chamber. And now I can shoot 9mm out of my 12 gauge shotgun. Real simple concept. And if you go over to gunadapters.com, you'll see they've got a bunch of these available. Now this one's really dirty, I've been shooting it. But they've got a bunch of these available, different uh, lengths. Uh, they've got them rifled, they've got them smooth bore, just uh, you know, for different gauges of shotgun to convert down to different calibers. So it's just, uh, you know, you'll have to go over there and check it out. They've got a lot of different models of these. Today, the specific one we're looking at is the Pathfinder and it's 12 gauge to nine millimeter Luger. The Pathfinder is an eight inch adapter. They are rifled. This one has a one in 10 twist. Let's weigh this thing and see what it weighs. I haven't weighed it yet. Looks to be stainless steel construction except for the dual O-rings here. And they do recommend that you put a little bit of grease on those O-rings to help the insertion and extraction out of the 12 gauge chamber. These fit really snug into the chamber. I like the way they fit in there. Get this scale turned on. Now this is just a food scale. You know, it's not, it's not certified or calibrated perfectly or anything, so. But it does seem to be pretty close, everything I've weighed on it. 11.7 ounces for this particular adapter. Now the ammo that I've been shooting out of it is just this Blazer brass stuff, just target ammo. Haven't been shooting anything special out of it. And in fact, they, they recommend that you do not shoot plus P ammo from these. Don't know what the reasoning is for that, but that's what they recommend. So I'd stay away from plus P ammo. Comes in this neat little tube carrying case, kind of like a choke, to, uh, choke tube case. Just something nice to store it in. Of course, you've got your owner's manual in there. Got your instructions. But these are made for brake action shotguns. And like I say, this ammo we're using is just, it's 124 grain blazer brass. Haven't had any problems with it. In fact, it's been way more accurate than I expected it to be out of this. Extraction is not an issue. It's got this dished away here so that you can easily extract that. I've just been using my fingernail. They haven't had any stick whatsoever. So, uh, you know, just really easy to extract the spent cartridge. So that being said, let's shoot this thing some. We'll do some accuracy testing and some velocity testing as well. Okay, so I've been doing these gun review videos for about seven years or close to it now. And few things surprise me anymore. But I have to say I'm surprised at how accurate that I can shoot this little adapter. No, I'm not talking about the inherent accuracy of the adapter itself, you know, that's a well-made little unit. But with the shotgun, all I've got to aim with is that big fat bead up front. I don't have a rear sight or anything on this shotgun. So I was surprised at the, my ability to make hits. I've got a steel target down there. It's a IPSC style target or IDPA style target. The head on that target is four inches square. I'm able, I'm here at the 30 yard pin right now. At 30 yards, it's, I, I can pretty much put shots on that four inch square at will. Uh, hardly any uh, struggle to do so whatsoever. Now that being said, accuracy is obviously gonna vary between the ammo that you use. It really seems to like these 124 grain blazer brass. It's gonna vary between shotguns, your sighting style. If you had a set of sights on a shotgun like this, this thing would, it would shoot like a rifle, I'm telling you. I'll demonstrate, I'll put a few shots on the head of that target here at 30 yards. Well, 
Well, that one actually ejected itself out. Haven't had any problem with these sticking whatsoever. We'll put one more on it. All right, so using that other camera, you guys already see that group, you know, not bad for an adapter out of a shotgun, but I'll take this camera down and we'll go down there and, and take a close up look at that group. All right, so you're talking about me standing there, a standing position, not taking a rest or anything like that at 30 yards and shooting a group down here that measures from center to center a little less than two and three quarter inches. So you can't ask for much more than that out of, a, out of an adapter for a shotgun. And that's a, that's a typical group, you know. Uh, yeah, I get an oddball flyer every now and then, but pretty much that, that's what you're gonna see or that's what I'm seeing out of that adapter. Pretty impressive in my opinion. All right guys, so I'm out here at the 40 yard pin now. This is my 40 yard pin measured 40 yards from that backstop. But you know, for my regular viewers, anytime you guys see me in this tree line, you know I'm at 40 yards from the backstop. Just out here shooting a few rounds, just plinking a little bit. And this is it's a really fun setup for that. One at a time, just taking your time. You know, a box of nine millimeter, a 50 round box lasts you a long time just out doing, doing that kind of plink. And again, you see how easy those eject. They eject themselves sometimes. But a box will last you a long time, kind of, kind of relaxing. But, you know, it's not just a fun thing to have. It's, it's a nice tool to have around. 12 gauge being the most popular shotgun round in the world, nine millimeter being the most popular pistol round in the world. With this combination, there's hardly anywhere I could go that I wouldn't be able to find ammunition, a source of ammo. Uh, people talk about a SHTF scenario. You know, with a combination like this, uh, there's a real good chance that if you run out of ammo, you're gonna be able to barter for some or find some or trade for some somewhere something like that you guys notice this sling i've got that's an ace 2 tactical paracord sling uh, talking about shtf scenarios this thing is made with over 60 feet of paracord you know you can use that stuff to make bracelets if you had to in an emergency <laughs> i'm just kidding about the bracelets you can use that stuff for a lot of things including a, an emergency tourniquet uh, just a a lot of uses for paracord and it's nice to have 60 foot of it here on my sling if i'm out and were to need it for some reason and you notice a lot of you probably think i've got that on backwards that the shoulder part should be up here but this is a shortened shotgun i shortened this barrel to 18 and a half inches so i carry it in the uh i guess they call it the safari style but it's really easy to get to and i don't have that barrel if I carried this thing over my shoulder, like a typical hunting uh, style shotgun, I've got that muzzle right at the back of my head here. I don't really care for that. So I'll put the uh, sling on upside down or backwards, and I just carry it like this. These slings are available at uh, ace2tactical.com. The ZRS Outdoors channel sent this stuff over to me. He sent me this sling, and he sent me this adapter which I think is just awesome. You know, I like seeing YouTube channels work together and, uh, you know, gun channels work together. And he contacted me. I didn't ask him for this stuff. And, and he sent it over for me to kind of give my take on it. I really like both of them, you know, just, uh, and that's a really great channel. Check it out. I'll have it linked in the description below. And he's also got a code for these slings. I'll get that code from him. I think it's ZRUS10. And it'll give you 10% off these slings if that's something you're interested in. So 
I'll have that in the description as well. But let's move on and do some velocity testing. Uh, ZRS Outdoors done some velocity testing and uh, he's already done that. I, he's got a great video up on it already. But for you guys that don't follow him, and I encourage you that you do, but I'm gonna go ahead and do some velocity testing of my own over the chronograph and, and we'll kind of go through that and see what kind of velocities we're getting out of this thing. All right, guys, I've been out here in between rain showers. Looks like we've got another one moving in. So just real quickly summarize this uh, velocity testing that I did. I started out with the 8-inch gun adapter. We shot it over the chronograph. We shot, took five shots there. Got a mean velocity of about 1,295 feet per second. So pretty impressive. And keep in mind, we're just using target ammo. Different ammos are gonna give you different results, especially when comparing barrel lengths. But I did want to compare this exact ammo in some different barrel lengths to compare to the gun adapter. So again, this is just target ammunition. But I wanted to try some different barrel lengths, so I went and got the, I started with a smaller barrel length. I got the Car CM9 out. Just got a three inch barrel in that little car. So we shot it over the chronograph. We got a mean velocity of about 987 feet per second or so out of that car CM9 with a three inch barrel, which is about 309 feet per second different than the eight inch gun adapter. So of course, next step, I wanted to try something a little bit longer. I got the Glock 34 out. It has a 5.3 inch barrel. And with the Glock 34, we achieved a mean velocity of about 1150 feet per second, which is about 145 feet per second slower than we got from the gun adapter. So that's still, you know, 150 feet per second is still, that's quite a bit of difference. So with the three inch barrel and the, we got a big improvement with the 5.3 inch barrel. And then another big improvement with the 8 inch gun adapter. So it led me to wonder what we would get out of a, out of a rifle length barrel, a, a carbine length barrel. So I put the Mectech Systems carbine unit onto the Glock 34 and we took five shots with it over the chronograph.
So with the 16 inch barrel, we got about 1,314 feet per second. Now that's only about 18 feet per second difference from the eight inch gun adapter and the 16 inch Mectec uh, carbine barrel. So you don't get much gains after, after about the eight inch mark, your gains are about done with this target ammo anyway. Uh, just thought that was interesting. I think uh, ZRS channel got about the same results with his testing. He's got a video up, he just posted not just a few days ago. You can go check it out. Uh, speaking of that, just, you know, I'm sure he'd appreciate any of you guys to go over and sub his channel. He's been at this a long time, just like I have. I've been subbed to his channel for years. He's been subbed to me for years. So uh, just one of those channels that was one of the few that was around when I got started or got started about the same time I did and actually stayed in touch all these years. So uh, kudos to him for sending that stuff over. I enjoyed testing it out. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Maybe, you know, you may want to look into either that sling or one of those gun adapters. Uh, other than that, that's all I got. And I'll talk with you guys again soon. I've got to get in that I feel some sprinkles starting to hit off this rain.